Hi, welcome to PLC course. In the previous video, we have learned the basics about PLC. And in this video, we will learn about PLC's hardware. Basically, PLC hardware is classified into two different types. Compact or fixed PLC and modular or rack-mounted PLC. Compact or fixed PLC. Compact PLC is also called fixed PLC. In compact PLC, the number of inputs and outputs are fixed. Because I.O. capabilities are decided by the manufacturer, but not by the user. They are used for small-scale use. There are several built-in modules in the same case. Integral PLC has an integrated power supply, CPU, I.O. interface, and other components housed in a compact chassis. Modular or rack-mounted PLC. Modular PLC is also called rack-mounted PLC. Modular PLCs are a special type of PLCs that connect their power supply, processor unit, and I.O. system to the backbone, which is actually called a rack. Modular PLC is a type that allows multiple extensions of the PLC system through the use of modules, hence the term modular. In this type of PLC, the number of inputs and outputs are not fixed. We can add or subtract modules according to our needs. The modules provide additional features to the programmable logic controller such as in increasing the number of I.O. units, and they are generally easier to use because each component is independent of the other. Modular PLCs are often used in applications that require a lot of input and output, such as process control in the manufacturing sector. Let's discuss the modules that are used in PLCR. 1. Power Supply PS The power supply is connected to AC mains for the supply voltage. The output of the power supply is a DC voltage used to power all of the other modules associated with the PLC. Usually output voltage are 24 volt DC. The power supply does not provide power for field devices. 2. Central Processing Unit CPU. The CPU consists of processor and memory. The processor section makes decisions needed to observe and operate the field devices connected to the input-output modules. The decisions are based upon a user-created program saved in the memory. The memory also stores data representing the condition of all input field devices and contains the data telling the output field devices what to do. 3. Signal Module, SM, or Input-Output Module The input-output modules are also called Signal Module. They are connected to digital or analog field devices. Input field devices include switches, encoders, and transmitters for example. Typical output field devices are relays, lamps, and proportional valves. 4. Interface Module, IM The interface module is optional or an additional module. It is used for the rack-to-rack -rack communication in multi-tier configuration in modular PLC system. 5. Function Module, FM. The function module is also added as an optional module. It is used in only in modular PLC or rack-mounted PLC and not in compact PLC. For the function module, you can use the analog and digital types of modules. The high-speed counter modules, PID, weighing modules can easily connect to function modules and PID, CNC, position controller can interface to PLC through function module cards. 6. Communication Processor, CM The communication processor is an optional module. It can be used for providing an additional communication port for communication protocols. It is used for the networking communication between multiple processors or PLC. Also, 
CP exchanges data between PLC, SCADA, HMI, and other systems. In next video we will learn more about input-output modules. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it also. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and press bell icon to get notification of new videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.